Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and last week I asked you lovely lot, what game for a Nintendo system do you believe deserves a sequel? This got practically 600 comments, so I had to look through them as well as I could, but here's just what a few of you had to say. This is getting harder and harder. Jaxel MS says, first actual answer to the question gets points, right? And uh, you'd be right, because you got 10 thumbs up, nicely done. Uh, I say they should give a sequel to Splatoon. Yep, you're right, yep, they will do, and they're going to, no doubt, because if they didn't, they would be utterly, utterly insane. You only have to look at the massive success of Splatoon to realise that there's going to be some sort of NX follow-up, or maybe even a 3DS thing, or maybe some sort of future portable, maybe even a mobile game. There's going to be loads of Splatoon happening, but at the moment, it's just that one core game, and um, I think we're going to leave it at that just for the moment. Just wait and see. Epic Martin 7 needs medical assistance. Harvey Goff or Harvey Hoch or something, I'm not really sure you pronounce that, says Pokemon Snap you. Yes, how many times do people have to say it before Nintendo gets it into their head that people want this? And the gamepad was so perfect for it. But let's be honest, it's not happening because, well, I mean, it may do. I mean, it's very unlikely, but it's not impossible. Nothing's impossible. Remember that. But yes, using the gamepad to use it as an actual camera, my goodness gracious gracious. Would that not be the best thing since sliced bread? Test Tube Todd goes for a different route and says that Earthbound needs a reboot. Since Super Smash Bros. has made NES so popular, it would be a great time to bring it back. Hmm, I have to say I disagree with this. I love Earthbound to pieces. The entire Mother series is great. I'm sure I've played the first one. I've played Earthbound. I have not played the third one. I am waiting for a full English release because I believe it will happen. And I mean an official one before anybody goes down in the comments and says, there have been 5,000 fan translations. Why don't you play one of them? But yes, I do believe that Earthbound or Mother, if you prefer to call it that, is basically it deserves to stay as it is. I don't think a reboot would do it any favors because it's almost... It's almost too perfect. It's almost too of the time, too nostalgic, too childlike, too much good. Basically, I think a reboot probably isn't a good idea. I hope that came across. Panel Touch says, I would like a new custom robo for once. I'm going to ignore the DS game exists because they've never played it. Well, by that logic, I could say that the ne there has never been the Spyro series because I've never played them. Weird logic aside, I do know that the custom robo series is very, very popular. It looks really good. I think that would be a really good sequel. Was there a DS? I'm guessing there was a DS game, but... <laughs> I'm in an odd mood today. Ben Staniford says he does not even feel he needs to justify his choice because his choice is F-Zero, and apparently I am going to do a better job of explaining why F-Zero deserves a sequel than he could in a comment or something like that. Yes, we do need a new F-Zero game. You only need to look at games like Fast Racing Neo and... Um, that's the only one I can think of. These sort of really ultra-fast, high, high sci-fi, high buy. These ultra-fast sci-fi racing games to see that there is clearly an audience out there for this sort of thing. And F-Zero really is probably the best of the bunch. Why Nintendo haven't done a sequel? I honestly have no idea, but I'm sure they've got their reasons. The Shadow Gamer says Donkey Long 64. Unless there's a joke I'm not getting, I'm going to assume that it was meant to say Donkey Kong 64. And we're already getting a sequel of sorts, and you know it exists because it looks like this. Before anyone says anything, yes, it is a spiritual successor to Donkey Kong 64, because of this geezer's doing the voices. Buzz S says, no duh, Pikmin. In case people didn't already know, Pikmin 4 already kind of exists. It's not actually released, and it's not actually been announced per se, but Miyamoto himself said that it was pretty much near to completion, but he didn't say what platform it was going to be on, so we're assuming NX. Louis, or Lewis, I'm not entirely sure, Fernando Sosa says Majora's Mask needs a direct sequel, and that they suffer. You know what, as much as I love Majora's Mask, I'm not sure you could do a direct sequel. For similar reasons with things like Earthbound getting a reboot, it just sort of feels like its own contained thing and you just sort of leave it alone. Let it rest, let it be what it is. Don't try and change it or milk it because then you get Call of Duty. Another Louis or Lewis, notably Moulds, or Moldes, I'm not sure, again, names, says Mario Strikers. I have to agree wholeheartedly with this one. I absolutely love the Mario Strikers series. It was called Mario Strikers Football or Mario Football Strikers or something over here. I know that the, uh, the sequel, the Wii one, which is the only one I've played actually, was just absolutely phenomenal, wonderful, sublime game. Almost nothing wrong with it. I mean, maybe, I mean, the online was rubbish because it doesn't work anymore. I mean, I think it worked at the time, but um, I don't know. I never played it when the online was actually online. Long story short, yes, it does need a sequel. Hop to it, Nintendo. I have spoken. Keaton Princess says, uh, Nintendogs, I need it in my life, my Nintendo life. 
and then they say kill me. I'm not gonna do that, instead what I'm gonna say is possibly, I think maybe it would be something that would work better as a mobile game, because obviously it's always been a portable game because the whole idea is that you sort of pop it out at a moment's notice and have a go rather than sit down and do a great big long sesh, so I think a mobile game would be perfect for it. Infinity Master goes into great length, but basically I can sum it up by saying Pokemon Conquest. It is very much a sort of more hardcore Pokemon game. Obviously it's not a standard Pokemon game. It's a sort of a strategy RPG not dissimilar to Fire Emblem. In fact, I may even go so far as to say I think there may be some sort of crossover, but I really don't know because I've never played the game and I don't know much about it. Shoot me, I just know it exists and it looks cool. But yes, some more sort of mature angle for Pokemon, something like that. I think that would be really cool. I'm guessing maybe Pokemon Conquest didn't sell that well, particularly over here in the West because, well, I let's just say I never saw a copy. And finally, William Mitchley says Tetris 4 now with 45 degree angles. No. Massive thanks to the roughly 600 of you who left a comment, although there will be some people leaving more than one comment, but I'm going to gloss over that fact. But unfortunately, I can't read all of your comments out because there were 600 of them. But don't stop this video just yet because you do have a chance to get one of your comments read out in the next video. And so, my question for you this week is something a little bit different. I want you to give me your E3 predictions for E3 2016, primarily Nintendo. If you got something interesting about, say, Microsoft or Sony, throw it in. I might keep, I might include it. I might not, I might not, I probably won't. But to make things more interesting, the next episode will happen after E3 has actually happened. So we're going to be able to look back and see who got things right and who didn't. Should be fun. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you bludgeon that subscribe button gently and softly with a nice feather duster and be sure to check out NintendoLive.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>